Hello. Hello. Um, I wanted to ask you, you went to NYU and you've got a BFA in experimental theater and modern dance? No, just ex the, I went to the experimental theater wing and got a BFA and was in debt for, you know, 10, 15 years for that. That was very, that made sense, didn't it? And what were some of the things you, you learned there? I wanted to hear about um, your process. No, I really My wanted to hear about, about what, you, what you learned there. What I learned at experimental theater. Because uh, it, it was the most... Uh, experimental out of all the experimental theaters. Well, programs. all the other theater, all the, so at NYU had these different schools and there was like Lee Strasberg and the Circle in the Square and uh, Stella Adler and, and mine, and then there was the experimental theater wing where all the completely like freaks that didn't fit in anywhere went. It's like a whole new level of acid trip is what it's I'm imagining. Exactly, the whole new level of spending a lot of money and not being able to get a job after college. <laughs> Amazing. I like that these can get tiered. Yeah, that now that like, was like the be, most insane. Like basket weaving is actually more productive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I studied, um, I studied a lot of, it was all about like Rutowski and physical theater and rolling around on the floor and postmodern dance and, and uh, vocal exercises where you had to lie on the floor and then you'd fall asleep because you didn't really know what you were doing and then... They'd wake you up later. I'm it's a great, pro it's actually a great studio. <laughs> it's, I'm just, it's fun to make fun of it, but it was actually a really, I, I learned a lot there. I remember doing modern dance. We'd always go like this. Yes, like, that is a key component. And you rock. To, yeah, that's and exactly then, like, what you do. Sometimes you'd have like one word, like you'd be like yeah. racism, although yes. now it'd be like binary. Exactly, you know, that's like, exactly what it is. You just like go. <laughs> um, did um, you postmodern dance is so, um, it's so serious. Yeah. That if you went like I just I saw so much postmodern dance in my life. Oh, let's see it. I will. Well, okay, I will. That that the big com the big comedic moment in a postmodern dance thing would be like you'd go like. Yeah. 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 They love. And the, that was the big laugh do line. Do that again. Do that, that was again. Like, it was like. Yeah. And that would get a big laugh. The that. finger would be like, oh my god, she's hilarious. Revelatory. That's hysterical. This would be great for the podcast. What a funny what a funny dance with the. Anyway. Those of you listening on the radio, she waved her finger around. Yeah, you have to explain <laughs> it for the podcast. You have to explain what you were just doing. You were um, I was, jumping. I was jumping, and then I just did the slightest movement with my finger that no one would find funny unless you were in a postmodern dance audience. This, it, this takes all the art out of it, too. I love it. We're like, I'm like, she was jumping, and then she pointed her finger at someone. Do I...